Hello all, welcome back to the English class. Today we are going to continue with the chapter Ivan Streisand O Level written by Colin Dexter. So this is the continuation and this is the fifth module. So in the previous class we learned about the character Evans. He is a criminal and he was going to write the O Level German examination. So there was a tight security inside the prison and everybody was really cautious as to not let Evans escape after the examination. So at 11.25 exam was over and let's continue and see what happens next. So at 11.25 am Stephens escorts McLeary to the prison's main gates. So he was bursting with pride that the governor had chosen him and not Jackson for the task. So McLeary is the invigilator who had come to attend the examination. So as the two men walked, Stephens observes that the Scottish accent sounds thicker than before and he notices that McClary had suddenly grown slimmer. So after McClary has gone, Stephens returns to Ivan's cell to check on him as per the order of the governor. So everybody was really cautious and they always checked upon Ivan's. So when Stephens looked at the cell of Evans, he is having a horrifying sight. He saw McClary lying in Evans' chair and McClary is drenched in blood. The blood was seeping through his beard, short hair and clerical collar. Stephens immediately shouts for Jackson and McClary weakly presses a white linen handkerchief to his bleeding head. So this is the sight that he sees inside Evans' cell. McClary was lying there and his head was bleeding. So clutching the German exam in one hand, McClary murmurs that he knows where Evans went. So Stephens is really horrified and he is calling everybody and McClary shouts that he knows where Evans went. So the prison explodes with noise and activity suddenly. So sound of sirens all over and the officers started shouting and heavy metal doors clang into place. So everybody was going in search of events whom they thought had escaped. So when the governor arrives, the wounded McClary shows a photocopied sheet that was cleverly superimposed or that was attached over the last page of the question paper. So it was containing hints about events whereabouts. So the governor tries to translate the hints from the sheet. So Evans had left all these things inside the cell. So they could get many hints from the paper that was left in the prison. So the governor tries to decode what it is. Meanwhile, the detective superintendent Carter arrives in a fast-moving police car. So the injured McClary leaves with Mr. Carter as McClary suggested that they drove to Edsfield Way. So the governor quickly realized that the examination board is headquartered there and one of their employees must have been involved in Evans' escape. So all these things happen within a short span of time. McClary suggests that Evans might have gone to this particular way called Ellsfield Way and everybody is going towards that way and governor also feels the same because the examination boards was situated in this place called Ellsfield Way. So they conclude that Evans might have gone to the, this particular way. And we'll move on and see what happens next. So governor is really angry on analyzing the situation. He turns sharply to Stephens and Jackson. So the governor demands to know who led Evans off the premises. So it was Stephens obviously. So Stephens says that it was him. But that the governor was the one who gave him the orders over the phone. So on hearing this, the governor screams that it was in him who gave those orders and that the call was a fake. So the person who called Stephens was not really governor, rather it was one of Ivan's friends. So the governor thinks to himself that he had been using the phone at that time, trying to get in touch with the examination board. So now that everything is making sense, and governor realizes that there was a fake call and somebody among Ivan's friends had called Stephens and they had given the order. So the governor screams at Jackson for his stupidity. Jackson had searched Ivan's cell for two hours the previous night and yet the prisoner had managed to hide a clerical collar 
and shirt, reading glasses, a fake beard, a coat and whatever weapon he attacked McClary with. So they are analyzing the cell and they are actually wondered and awestruck thinking about how Evans had safely kept all these things inside the cell. So he then turns his attention back to the instructions on the last page of the German exam and he tries to find out more clues regarding the plan. It is now that the governor shouts at prison van driver and he asks the driver to get Jackson and Stephens to the police station and to ask the chief inspector Mr. Bell when they get there. So after this, the governor quickly gets chief inspector Bell on the phone to bring him up to speed. And it is during this time that detective superintendent Carter calls and he mentions that McClary spotted Evans near Ellsfield Way and he looked to be heading back to the city. So the governor explains his theory that Evans might have gone towards Newbury, telling himself that finding Evans is a police job now. So governor, after decoding the sentences in the question paper, that is the hints given in the question paper, so he finds that or he feels that Evans might have gone to this place called Newbury and he completely gives this responsibility or job to police and he waits for the police to find him out. So we'll look at the next part in the next module. Thank you all.